What is going on guys? This is me, Awkward Biker. This is the first time I've shown my face on camera. I know it's a pretty weird environment that I'm in because uh, um, most of you guys know that I live in an RV. This is my bedroom <laughs> because really I don't have anywhere else to do this because uh, I got everything this weekend and now I want to show it to you guys before I start recording and I, I'm going to be busy the rest of the week. So this is the only time I got to do this. So without further ado, this is my new motovlog setup. This is going to be, man, you guys are seeing how much I actually talk with my hands. But I wanna show you guys my new motovlog setup, my new helmet, my new camera, my new everything. Everything's gonna be different. It's going to be so much better. So I hope you guys are looking forward to new videos with that. But without further ado, let's get into this. So this is my old helmet, AGV K3 SV. It was a $200 helmet and that was three years ago. Uh, I think you can still buy this. I don't even know. I'm not sure. This helmet was super noisy. It had so much wind noise. Uh, it was a great helmet for my first helmet. Honestly, it wasn't the cheapest, but it wasn't the most expensive. Uh, it had like the chin spoiler. The padding wasn't the best uh, compared to my new helmet. This helmet is absolute garbage, but it did have the flip down lens in it. That was nice. Uh, I still have the stock visor and stuff, but whatever. My camera, GoPro Hero 5 Session. So small camera, it was nice. It wasn't this big old thing. Uh, I was still new, this wasn't even mine. This was a friend of mine, so he gave it to me. Uh, if I ever get big or whenever I make more money than I do now, I'm totally gonna hook him up with a new GoPro because he, I would not have been able to start without him. So thank you, Joseph, if you do watch my videos, which I don't even know if you do, but hey, this might make it to you one day. Uh, I got this Suro Wo. Uh, GoPro arm for my helmet. I got this off Amazon. It's $25. It's aluminum. It was very sturdy. It was great for like the... Uh, how long have I been doing this? Almost two years. year and like eight months, nine months. Uh, but yeah, this was my first helmet. It was pretty good. Why so awkward right here? I have the awkward biker and then the hyper naked grin for the hyper naked, hyper -naked brand website. Uh, that is also track day Taylor now. If you guys need suits or anything else, go ahead and hook them up, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is my old helmet. This is my old GoPro. And without further ado, why do I keep saying that? Let's get into the new stuff. You already know what this box is and you already know what it is by the title. So let's just get into it. The Shoei RF 1400 with the prologue scheme. I like this the most. Obviously I have a red Ducati and the red matches kind of it doesn't match perfectly but hey it looks great so we got the pin locks in here for the are these even called pin locks i don't even know the helmet itself it doesn't have the thing on the side to flip it up you actually have to push this in and it unlocks it and then listen to this those clicks so many more detents it's not just like what is this what is that? This? Ooh, so nice. Air here, air here, air here, air down here even. Fantastic. The chin spoiler is not in, it's over here. But the padding is so much nicer. It's so much more dense. Whenever my ears are in here, they're almost like surrounded. So I get very little wind noise. Uh, with the openings open, it does have some wind noise, but it's way less than my other helmet. Um, this whole back section, it's not just like styrofoam on the inside. It's way better quality, way better material. I already s tried to start putting my cardo in and I failed and I had to look a video up. The new visors are currently pre-ordered right now and I'm, I have an email waiting for me whenever they do get ready for them. But I'm gonna get the tinted visor because when I did ride, it was super sunny and it was super like blinding by the light. And yeah, so new helmet. The mount that I got is from Ride Tech Moto. It is specially made for the helmet. I was waitlisted on that whenever they were pre-ordering it as well. And once they finally released it, I ordered it right away for this helmet. So it fits perfectly in this divot. They have it for the RF 1200, they have it for some AGV helmets, they have it for a lot of helmets. So totally check them out because this fits absolutely perfect right there. A little wipey wipey. That fits so perfect in there. And there you are, perfect, centered. Don't look at it too closely. I think it is. And they're all nice like GoPro, chillin' right there. And that takes me to my next point. 
the holy grail of what I was gonna be getting for a really long time, and now I finally just got it. GoPro Hero 9, got the bundle. So it all comes with two batteries, a clip, the handle, the GoPro itself, two mounts, or two of the arms, and then a mount. So this is perfect. I have all this stuff for outdoor stuff, as well as if I am riding and then I take a break at any place, meets, stuff like that, and I can put it on this stick as well because it's going to be super easy to just remove it compared to my other mount that I had. But I also got this. It is a Ulanzi, if I'm saying that right. And it is a aluminum GoPro case with the mic adapter sleeve so I don't have to have the, Go the Velcro on the side for my mic adapter itself. So I can actually put the mic adapter in here. Uh, it's so solid. Uh, it has a door cover with a port for the mic adapter because whenever you take the GoPro out, you obviously have to put the mic adapter onto it and you have to take this door off. And then all I have to do is put this on this that's tightened right now. So that kind of sucks <laughs> because I don't have an Allen key with me. This too small for this. How many brands can I shut out today? Leatherman coming in clutch. Boom, just like so. Got the GoPro on there. That should be out of my field of view. I can always move this arm down a little bit more and get it really where I want it to be, but I don't know how that's gonna be yet. Then the fancy mic adapter is gonna go right in here. It's almost watertight, I believe, because of the rubber on the outside of this. Look at that. So much more clean, so much more professional. How does this happen? All right, Cardo. Yeah, this is also gonna go in there, but you don't really care about that right now. Holy crap balls. All right, after all that, I finally have my mic, which is legitimately wrapped in a cut piece of t-shirt with electrical tape because of the fact that I had so much wind noise in the last helmet. It always sounded horrible, especially over 60 miles an hour. This has a purple panda. Let me see that, a little emblem right there. Purple Panda lapel mic. All I do is wrap that around inside of the helmet underneath the liner, and then it will have a little spot that will probably pop out right around in here somewhere. And then all it's gonna do is it's gonna go right here and then plug on in. And that's how it's gonna be. New Motovlog setup. The car will also go on here this will get fixed because I need to fix the angles and the dangles and everything else. So this looks a heck of a lot better than this. It's a, it's like a night and day difference almost. So uh, out with the old, in with the new. This is really light too, it's pretty great. So I'm pretty excited for this new setup. It's going to be amazing. Hero 9, 4K, hyper smooth as well. It's gonna be so much better than this. So I hope you guys look forward to these videos coming up. Obviously there's going to be no wheelie at the end of this video. This is really just a, hey, this is what I use and this is what's coming to a video channel, YouTube, subscribe. Damn, I'm awkward. But I hope you guys still enjoyed it. It was uh, pretty weird for me making this. I'm not used to this whole face-to-face -face thing. I normally hide behind the camera and that's pretty great. So I hope you guys have a great week. If you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I hope you all have a fantastic day, week. And for any aspiring motovloggers that this video helped, you're welcome. Peace.